everyone, my name is Isla, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Home by Philip Phillips on the ukulele. Alright, here are the chords you're going to need to know, but before I show you those, I just want to um, let you know that my ukulele is in D6 tuning, or Canadian tuning, so it has a low A string, a D string, an F sharp string, and a B string. Okay? So, there's only five chords you're going to need to know, but one of them's a little funky. Um, so I'll show you that one in just a minute. But first we're going to start on D, which is pretty straightforward. And it's just your third finger on the third fret of the bottom string on your ukulele. D. And then, this is the funky one. You're going to need D sus4. And to play D sus4, you're going to leave your finger on as if you were playing D. And you're going to take your first finger and add it to that first fret on the third string down. This one right here. That's D sus4. Okay? And then the rest of the chords are easy peasy. You're going to need G, um, which is if you want, leave that first finger on right here for that you added to create D sus4, and take your second finger, put it on the second fret of the top string. That's G. You're also going to need to know B minor, which is if you keep the G position and just take off that first finger. That's B minor. So it's just your second finger, second fret of the top string. And you're also going to need to know A. So for A, you're going to play the second fret of the second string down. And in the same fret, but on the bottom string, you're going to put your second finger. It was like that. And then right in the middle, you're going to take your third finger and place it on the next fret down on that middle string, so that third string down. And that's A. And that's all the chords you're going to need to know. Okay, so first we're going to look at the verse and the introduction. Um, because the introduction is just the first part of the verse. So they're, they're essentially the same thing. Um, and this song for these two parts uses a very distinctive picking pattern. So I'll start with that because it's a little bit tricky. And then um, next I'll incorporate the chords. Because the chords have some added things that make it a little unique as well. And it all sounds really good together. Okay, so let's start with the strumming pattern. I'm just going to show you on D. So, I'm gonna, we're going to start using your thumb. You're going to pluck the top string on your ukulele, so the lowest sounding string. The top string. Okay? That's the first thing you do. Easy peasy. And then, taking your pointer finger, you're going to play the bottom string of the ukulele. So the ukulele that sound, string that sounds the highest. Okay? And then at the same time, you're going to take your thumb and play the D string, so the second string down. Okay? And those are going to be played at the same time, so they'll sound like this. Okay? So let's do that all from the beginning. So we're going to start with our high top string, with your thumb, and then two together. There you go. Okay, and then... You're going to go back and play that top string again with your thumb. And then, using your pointer finger, you're going to play the only string that hasn't been played yet, which is the third string down. And it's weird, but you're going to play it with your pointer finger. Okay? So you're going to play third string down, and then with your thumb, you're going to play the D string, which is the second string down. Okay? So I know that's a lot to take in. Um, so let's go through it really, really slowly now, from the beginning. So we're going to take the top string and play it with our thumb. And then we're going to pluck two strings together. Go back, play the top string. And then play the third string. And then the second string. Let's do it again. Top string. Two together. Top string again. Third, second. Okay? And so keep practicing that. Kind of get it into your muscle memory because then you'll speed it up. So it's, it goes actually pretty fast. Um, so all together, it sounds like this. Alright, so now that we know our picking pattern, let's put in the chords. So the chords used for... Um, the beginning of the verse are, and the introduction are just D and 
and D sus4, that kind of funky chord that we saw at the beginning. Okay? So that's just for the introduction and the beginning of the verse. And then the rest of the verse uses B minor, G, and A. Okay? So um, we'll start by doing just that first part that's used in the introduction because this top your first finger that's going to play the first fret on the third string down to make our D into a D sus4 is going to come off and on as we play. So for example, um, we're going to start on D and we're going to play the picking part that we just learned two times. Okay? So watch. So one, two, and then we're going to take our first finger and add it on to make D sus4 and play it again twice. just D. Play that twice. And then add it back on. Alright? And that's it. So, that's the introduction that you've learned. And also the beginning of the verse. So um, now I'm going to continue on with the verse. So after you play that a couple times with the verse, you're going to switch to B minor. Okay? And play that twice. And then you're going to add your first finger in the same spot where you added it to make that D sus4 chord, but it actually makes a G, which is pretty cool. So you're going to play that again twice. And then you're going to go back to that D, D sus4 thing. Play it twice. Again, on twice. And then there comes a little section that has a lot of chords and they play pretty fast one after the other so there's not actually enough time to play one whole thing of the picking so you're just going to play the first two notes so you're going to play that top string A and then the two together okay and so you're going to start on D so two notes and then you switch to A top string two together and then B minor top string two together back to A top string two together and then go to B minor and play it like how you usually would and then when it says and I'm gonna make this place your home same thing you're gonna switch to G bottom string two together D bottom string two together now for this A chord you're going to play the bottom string two together twice. So it's going to sound like this. Bottom string two together, bottom string two together. And then you're going to play D and continue on with that picking pattern. And that's the whole first verse. Okay, so let's look at verse two now. So verse 2 uses the exact same chords as verse 1, but I'll go over them again. So there's D, D sus4, B minor, G, and then A. Um, and because verse 2 is faster, so the speed picks up, we're going to take a step away from that intricate picking pattern that we just learned and do more of a faster strum. So the strumming pattern goes like this. We're going to start on D, um, and it's going to go down, down, up, down, And then the same thing that you did with the picking, you're going to do with the first finger again. So you know how when you pick, you went and you did twice and then put the finger on? So you're only going to go through the string pattern once instead of going through it twice and then you're going to put the finger on. Okay? So I'll, I'll show you how that sounds. So we're going to go down. for the verse, or for the first verse, and then of course you switch to B minor, same thing, up, down, 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 up, down, up, go to G, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, and then of course 
back to that D with the D sus4 finger on and off. But then, remember there was that like fast bit of chords that went one after the other really fast? Instead of picking it like how we were before with the thumb and then the two together, we're going to just strum it twice. So it goes, um, and no, you're not alone. We're going to go D, D, A, A, B minor, B minor, A, A, and then we're going to do the B minor strum. Okay? And then when it says, I'm going to make this place your home, same thing. So two G's, two D's. We're going to do the first part of the strumming pattern on the A, so it's going to be down, down, up, down, and then we're going to go back to D, and do that same. Okay, finally, we have the OO part, where it's basically just oohs. Um, so the OO part uh, uses the same strumming pattern as verse 2, so that fast one, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, all throughout and it just switches chords. Um, so the first chord is G, and it switches to D, and then B minor, and then A, and then G, back to D, and then it ends up A. And then I like to end it off with D. Yay! Okay, so now let's put it all together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the introduction, and then verse one, verse two, and then the ooh part. Um, and yeah, and feel free to play along. This way. 